Hi guys, so every once in a while I get this request from people asking me to create a sliced tiled sprite. Well, I'm going to show you how to create it without having to write any additional components. First, create a widget. This widget is going to be the basis of the sprite. Alt Shift W is the shortcut in case you forgot. Now that I have that, I'm going to add an actual sprites here. So here I have a bunch of textures, one for left, right, one for the center, top, top left, and top right. I don't have bottom left and bottom right, but I'm just going to rotate uh, one of these corners. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an atlas, of course. I'm just going to call it paper, and I'm going to add all of these sprites to it. There, it is now created. Now I can actually create sprites out of it. So let's add some sprites. Alt Shift S to add a new sprite, and I'm going to parent it to the container that I created earlier, which is the widget. For this sprite, I'm gonna start with um, let's start with the middle. Immediately, I'm gonna switch to the tiled mode, and I'm gonna set the unified anchors. Actually. Let me switch it to none first and resize the sprite so it's bigger and then set the unified anchors. This makes them automatically be based on uh, correct sides. I'm just gonna set all the sides to be zero. So now the sprite is occupying the full width and height of the original container. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually modify the sprite to get rid of this line right here. Now to do that is simply uh, add a border to it. Single pixel is enough. And back to our sprite. Next thing I'm going to do is add the side sprites. So again, Alt Shift S and I'm going to specify, uh, I'll start with the left one. Position it roughly around here, seems to be fine. And I'm going to switch it to tiled as well. Tile it like so. Again, modify it. I'm going to give it a border, all the same. This way it will tile correctly without any seams. And of course, I'm also going to switch the anchor to be unified as well which makes it automatically be anchored to the left hand side. And when I happen to resize the sprite, it'll resize with it. Okay, let's add the next sprite. This one is going to be the right hand corner. So I'm just actually the right side, I mean, paper right, tiled, uh, not yet unified and I'm going to modify it same deal one pixel all around that ties nicely now since the tile sprite begin on the left corner I need to adjust it a bit extending it I probably need to adjust this one a bit as well anyway so there now I have a right hand side which is more or less looking correct. Now I need to create the top and bottom. Let me just skip this part because I think you get the point. Okay, I lied. Apparently I do need to create a bottom side because anchoring is kind of iffy if I just rotate a sprite and then I try to rotate it, uh, anchor it, I mean. Anyway, so now I have top, left, right, bottom. They're all separate sprites and they're all anchored. Now if I actually stretch parent, everything resizes correctly. Easy enough. Now we just need the corners. So let's add some corner sprites. Sprites, mm, top right. That seems nice. Anchor it. Uh, create the next one, 
This one is going to be top left. Anyway, I skipped the bottom left and bottom right because I think you get the point. So here we have a finished window with everything anchored to it and I can actually resize it freely and voila, sliced and tiled sprite without having to write any additional components. I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching.